Hi everyone and welcome back to Goldilocks Shops. Um, today I'm going to talk about my top 10 favourite lipsticks. Um, I only, these 10 lipsticks are my utter favourites because I've got an embarrassingly large collection of lipsticks. Um, but these are 10 different shades and they're the best of the shades that I own. And I just think, you know, you don't need a ton of lipsticks really. You just need some good ones and these are my good ones. So, without further ado, I'll get into the video. So, my first favourite lipstick is actually a new discovery, and it is the Urban Decay um, uh, Sheer Shame Sheer Lipstick, and this is part of the new Vice Lipstick Collection. Um, I really love this. I've got this on right now. Little, mo little moment to look. Um, and I really like this because it's a very buildable um, sort of wine colour. If you like wine and dark colours and plums, this is brilliant, absolutely brilliant for people who are a little bit unsure about it because you can put this on really, really sheer. This sounds like a couple of swipes, but you could go darker, definitely. You could definitely build this one up a bit more if you sort of think that this is a bit tame on my lips right now. But um, I think it's a really great colour and I'm a real massive fan of this um, new formula, this new Vice formula, although it's very much the same as the Revolution, Sheer Revolution lipsticks, but yeah, I really like this one, it's, ever since I've purchased it, it's been a handbag staple, I've been just chucking it in because I love it so much. Right, next product, next um, lipstick, which I'm going to talk about, is, this is an old version, but I'm going to chuck it in anyway and that is the Sheer Revolution lipstick, and this is in Sheer Liar. You can tell I love this formula. Um, and this is a Your Lips But Better lipstick, really. Um, it's sort of like a sort of nudie pink kind of shade. Um, I'm gonna put swatches on my blog, I think that's easier than me swatching on my hand right now. But um, I really love this colour, I think it's brilliant, and um, I had it in a gloss originally, which was good, um, but glosses tend to be a bit sticky, although that one wasn't sticky, but it was just, you know, a bit of a faff, getting your hair caught in it and everything. But I really, really, really love this lipstick um, in terms of the shade, so I thought I'd chuck it in there. Um, next lipstick I want to talk about is the Diorific lipstick in Diva and it is a, the most beautiful red ever. It sort of like has a little tiny bit of a a nudie tone chucked in there um, but it is very much red and I love this colour I absolutely love it it's brilliant um, the only thing I don't love about this product is actually the packaging which is a little bit upsetting for me um, because I do love good packaging this is what I don't love about the packaging it is so easy to just lift that off oh I've broken it um, to just lift that off but sometimes when I'm just pulling the lipstick apart, that's that happens. Don't know why, perhaps I'm a little bit hand fisted, who knows? But um, the colour is brilliant, the finish is brilliant, I can't fault that. Your packaging is too fancy, it's too fancy and it doesn't work very well. So, yeah, if they repackaged this, it'd be brilliant, but yeah, I mean, it looks nice, doesn't it? But not very practical. Um, another product um lipstick I really love I've got, I've got to say stop saying product is this lipstick queen um Saint Bear Nude and this is my favourite nude and the reason why I absolutely love this nude is it doesn't make you look dead um if you're quite pale like me it's actually quite, brings a little bit of life to you a bit it's sort of like a peachy pink nude um it still, you know, gives you that lovely sort of knocked back lip effect, but doesn't make you look dead. And that's really important because I've got a couple of nude lipsticks that are just terrible that should just go straight in the bin. Um, next lips, lip product I want to show you is a lip product because it's this. And um, it's te technically not a lipstick, even though it's in my top 10 lipstick video. Oh dear. But it is the Benetint from Benefit and I love this on those lazy days where you're like no I want to look naturally beautiful today I don't want to look made up at all in fact 
I just want to look like I'm just naturally stunning. This is the lip product to to, um, to jump for, really, because it's a lip tint. Um, I kind of am not a fan of the brush. I actually prefer the miniature brush, so sometimes I top it up. Um, my miniature, I literally like decant it into my miniature, this big bottle, because I don't know. I just don't. I'm not. Don't really rate the brush on the larger one, but the miniature one. The brush on that is very good but yeah you just pop it on and it sort of stains and then you wait for it to dry and maybe pop on another coat but it's brilliant like no one knows you're wearing lipstick but magically your lips retain color for a lengthy amount of time and um when i say lengthy amount of time normally till lunch you know it stains it stains it's really good and um i really rate it i can see why everyone loves it because it's good nice rosy sort of tint to your lips and it looks so natural um the next product lipstick product that i want to talk about is girl about town just popping that out that is a beautiful fuchsia color and um i actually really 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 like this one i didn't think i would i bought it as a bit of a wild card i thought i'd give it a go you know but actually it's a really flattering fuchsia if you're looking for a really flattering fuchsia this is your product this is your product because the formula is incredible it leaves the most incredible stain to your lips or it's so long lasting that you do get like traces of it left over but it's not blotchy or anything like that it's really good really good formula really good color long lasting but really nice or long lasting on me anyway so the next um lipstick I want to share with you is my Charlotte Tilbury in Bond Girl. This wasn't in my Charlotte Tilbury collection because I got it later, but um, this is a really, really excellent um, sort of brown colour. Now I'm not really a fan of browns, it's all a bit 90s to me and it doesn't really look the most flattering on me, but this colour is just awesome, absolutely awesome on. As I say, it swatches on my blog. I'll probably do swatches on the lips as well because that's what, you know, that's what lipstick is on. On your lips, not on your hands. So, um, but yeah, awesome colour, Bond Girl. Sort of like, almost has like a mauve sort of um, undertone running through that one. So, really, really good. Next colour I want to share with you is... Now, I'm not sure how you pronounce this, whether you say forks or faux, but it's from MAC, and it's this lovely mauve sort of nudie tone. It's a satin finish, and I love this, and I've had so many compliments, and so many people come up to me when I'm wearing this and say, oh, I love your lipstick. Who's it from? What, what's the name of the colour? You know, who's it by and everything? And I'm like, oh, it's MAC's um, faux or forks. And they were like... Oh my god, that looks really good on you. So, a really lovely colour. I think it's brilliant. Um, it's very unusual. And when I bought it, I didn't think that it would be the colour it is. And I was pleasantly surprised when it looked good on. It looks good with a tan as well, that one. Um, so, this is coming up to the end of the video. This is my one of my favourites, and it is Arthur by Chanel, which is the Coco Rouge lipsticks. And um, this is a little bit different from my other red because it's more of an orange undertone. Very flattering if you've got tan or you know if you've got warmer undertones to your skin. This is really lovely. Looks so natural on, um, it's quite a sort of creamy formula, which means it's not necessarily the most long lasting out of the Dior or um, the Chanel one even though they're different colours um, but I do feel that even though you're topping it up it's such a nice shade and it fades nicely it doesn't look crazy when it fades it fades really well so even though you do have to top it up it's great um, last colour and this is not my least favourite colour this is my favourite lipstick of all time and unfortunately this sort of range got discontinued but the colour is in the um, main Dior collection of lipsticks so they have retained it although it's a really difficult colour to get a hold of and that is Swan 
So this is the Dior sort of rouge something. <laughs> um, and it is an awesome colour lipstick. It really is. It's just like this nudey pink and it's just fabulous and it's got a little bit of peach in it. It's so flattering. And this is the lipstick I will be wearing on my wedding day. I love, I'm so in love with the colour that I just feel it's so suited to bridal and I really love it. And I was almost horrified when I found out it's been discontinued. I was like, oh no. But luckily they've um, reintroduced it into their newer collection. So I'm happy that they've done that because it's a cracking colour. And um, yeah, definitely, definitely worth a purchase. So these are my favourite lipsticks. Obviously, um, you didn't really see much in that video, you just heard me talking about them. But I will put the swatches on my blog. So that is um, www.wordpress.goldilockshops.com. So check that out because you'll see how fabulous these lipsticks are and you'll be like, oh my god, these are good colours. And I, I love them. They wear well a lot of them, most of them, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it gives you some inspiration, you know, if I had to choose only five of these lipsticks, would definitely do your swan, um, would definitely be a nude lipstick, because no girl should live without a nude lipstick, because if you want to do a heavy eye, it's a perfect pairing, and I would definitely pick the sheer shame, and definitely a red, and that would be the dual one. And um, okay, we're just gonna chuck. We're gonna ch yeah, no. Nah. Should we chuck another one in for good measure? Yeah, yeah, we should. Um, and then in terms of the pink, probably the girl about town. So, yeah, awesome lipsticks. I think they're brilliant. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.